Stephen, there's so much we could say about that, but it was professional. It was everything that you would ask for a team coming to a place like this. It's an amazing performance. It shouldn't be underestimated. You know, they made some changes, but they had a really strong team out tonight, a championship team. And um, although they had a couple of moments in the game, I think uh, the score wasn't uh, a true reflection. I actually think we could have won by more over the course of the 90 minutes. But an amazing effort from the players, a truly amazing effort. I spoke to them after the game on Saturday and we'd done a lot of work between then and now. And uh, we have to pride ourselves on the fact that nobody works harder than Carlisle. No team works harder. When you go through the pre-season that we go through, we do it for a reason. And the reaction of the players was amazing tonight. To a man, there wasn't a disappointment. Even our substitutes made a huge contribution. So, amazing. The players deserve huge credit. Huge, huge credit for tonight. And our travelling support will go home very happy because a Tuesday night travelling from Carlisle to here is a big commitment and I'm just thankful we can send them home extremely happy. Even more impressive for your boys because for 10-12 minutes Barnsley were the team that they looked more likely. Something happened and all of a sudden we, we've dominated the rest of that game. Yeah, I think it's a belief aspect. Sometimes you come to championship grounds and clubs and uh, sometimes you can feel a little bit inferior. Um, the psychological aspects in these games are one of the most important aspects. And I think once we settled into it and after 10 minutes we realised, hey, we can compete here. And uh, and we certainly went on to do that. You know, walking up the tunnel at the end, you know, Byron said to me, that's the standards. That's the standards we've set. And it is the standards they've set. You know, the players set amazing standards tonight. And I said to them after the game, it can't be just tonight. We have to follow that up on Saturday. You can't live on, sorry, off the back of one good result. You have to follow follow that up and uh, we have to ensure that come come Saturday we're ready to go again. Three, possibly four, one-on-one -on -one moments before Harry scored. Were you sort of thinking in the dugout, here we go again, but we're, we're going to waste the opportunities? You always have that, that uh, doubt in your mind. But, uh, you know, we played against a team that play more pure tonight. We played against a team that try to build the play and I think you, you've seen in our press and we got our press and bang on at times and we had a lot of steals that created a lot of really good counter-attack moments and uh, you know that was really encouraging from us tonight. You know and uh, again Harry scores another goal, contributes with an assist on a penalty, a great performance from him. Nathan again, devastating form, scores and I thought loft up front, ran tersely and led the line brilliantly. And of course, you know, we made a slight amendment um, in the midfield shape. Just in terms of possession and our immediate press, we played Skugo in a slightly more advanced position, recovering into his normal position. But in that position, boy, was he amazing tonight. Boy, did he run. Boy, did he, you know, cover the distance. And his contribution in the 90 minutes was, was quite amazing. The steals, the press, the players being in the right time. That's why we scored three goals, because they all came from players doing the right things. Of course. And I've said this. I said this after Saturday's game. Trust me on this. They, they, when you're trying to build something, when you're trying to create something, it doesn't happen overnight. We keep working and working and working. There's certain aspects that we learn from. There's certain aspects that we, uh, you know, move on from. But the one thing is that we continue to build and continue to improve, and that's what we're trying to do. We we're all really disappointed because after the first Saturday of the season, I think everybody was on a high and we'd shown real flash in the pre-season of what we're capable of then with the disappointment but there was no you know there was no wholesale changes we know what we want to do we know how we want to operate and build and it will take time but tonight's performances justifies some of the work that we're doing and where we're trying to get to and as Byron has said to you obviously this really is a marker that's been put down they, they, they can't let themselves down anymore they've got to achieve this no of course <clears throat> And come Saturday, we've got to be ready again because it'll be a, a very strong Mansfield side that will play slightly differently to tonight's opponents. But we have to adapt and we have to be ready for that. And uh, like I've said, you know, this is a, a real plus for us because it gives our supporters real excitement in the cup looking at the draw tonight. And um, it gives us something to look forward to. But the bread and butter is Saturday's game and we have to ensure at home that we, we try to pick up the three points. Two goals from Harry and again some wonderful football from him. He's a real prospect. 
he has <laughs> he's a lively boy um, but he's a likeable lad I've said that with great talent and him and Nathan you know these are the types of players that can create the moments and that's why we signed them you know you need to make the difference players and uh, they're proving that at this moment in time but it's only two or three games it's about doing it week after week after week could be 55 games this season and they have to continue to improve and continue to do the things that they're doing at this moment Jack Bridge clearly won the penalty competition he did he did and Nathan wasn't happy trust me <laughs> I think he blamed me that he lost the competition but no the, the ironic thing is that the referee should actually let play continue because um, Nathan scored but thankfully um, Jack converted and uh, a really good penalty and he was like Jones in the middle of the pitch outstanding as well if it's anywhere meant a knife to get his goal tonight yeah, you know, Nath performed really well at the weekend in terms of when we got him the ball. We didn't get him enough of the ball. But I think Nathan's shown why we were so desperate to get him here. Nathan's not a League Two player. He's certainly not. But there's reasons he's here and there's reasons why we work with him and try to improve him. And I think he's getting better at the things that are what I would regard as his deficiencies. But he's, he's trying, he's, he's improving, and uh, his contributions since the start of the season have been excellent. you said it already, but it's important that we carry this on now and find some consistency. Of course. You know, it's three competitive games. We've won two, um, but we have to drive on now. There can be no complacency, you know, as I've said, living off a result, we can't live off a result. The reason the top players are playing at the level they are is that week in, week out, they perform. And we have to show that we're capable of that. A couple of weeks of the transfer window left open for League Two clubs. Any news on, on anything developing there? I, I, I'm really sorry about this, but I keep saying, you know, that uh, I'll know by this date and then I, I wait on this date and it gets put back. So I'm not going to give you any real date at this moment in time. We are pursuing. Uh, there's actually one of the players that was a main target for us seemed to seemed to go off the radar because it looked like he was going elsewhere. He's come back on the radar, so we now have a couple of options that we're pursuing and uh, we'll keep trying.